A good day, everybody. Uh, today I'm going to try to simulate a Carthaginian victory at the famous Battle of Cannae. Let's get right to it. Okay, there's really no decisions to make here. Uh, this is pretty much a standard formation. And this setup is pretty much uh, as described by Livy uh, and Polybius, you know, the histories. And uh, Hannibal achieved a great victory. And here's the Roman setup. And it always baffled me why the Romans just bunched everything up in a square. And I really don't agree with, you know, the way it's been interpreted how the battle was won. I don't agree with it that it happened the way it did. I think it was more forced. I mean, playing the Roman side, it's really easy. I think historically accurate it should be where the Carthaginians are right up against the Romans and forcing them to fight. I think something like that happened because you have to remember the Roman army crossed the river of Fetus. And when you look at the terrain, I think a more likely Hannibal, you know, pulled a, forced the Romans to engage immediately and thus caused a calamity. But that is a topic on my Paul Schifranke channel. I will be making a video of how I believed actually the Battle of Cannae took place you know, based on the geography of the land. And the Romans weren't stupid. I mean, really, they weren't. And why they weren't able to fan out. And I'm going to attempt it here with this setup to try to win it. And there's the main advantage is the uh, superior Gallic and Spanish cavalry on the left wing. And the Numidian cavalry on the right. As far as the skirmishers go, I think I'm going to be using a lot of them mainly for the cavalry. And uh, this is actually pretty good terrain where I'm at right now, but I can just pull up. Got the Gauls and the Spaniards in the middle, and then you got the African spearmen on the flanks. Actually, in reality, there should be some hill, a hillside here where the, I believe the African spearmen were, and when the Romans marched forward, boom, they hit them on the flank. But that's just my opinion. But let's, this is pretty much set up traditionally as the history says it was, so I'm going to try to win that way. First thing is I'm going to fan out the cavalry. to the left. I'm going to go all the way up and then hit this cavalry on the flank as they're coming down. There's a lot of Roman troops. I mean, I'm outnumbered. I don't have much infantry. And if you have some bad die rolls, it's going to kind of take care of things. Quickly, we'll see if I can win this. I have to be careful with the Numidian. They're going to have to angle against the cavalry so they cannot be charged and caught. Let's move up. But eventually I'm going to go after a T. Cavalry. Now, I also have to take into consideration this game as a terrain here.
let the Romans go around here. That's fine. I don't know. Let's see how this works. If I get the first shot, that would be good. Let's just stay there. Want the Numidian cavalry to kind of angle and gang up on these guys. If I can get all four of them and circle them and go around them, that would be good. Let's continue. Up through here. Move over here. And I think I'm going to wait and then get the first shot. Here come the legions marching. to turn. I don't think they can charge directly. Let's go this way. Let's wait. Let's bring the cavalry up. first shot. It's the whole main thing is to get the first shot on a lot of these units. That's the main thing, is to turn and harass. Start hitting them. I'll like get two shots on them, gang up on them.
weaken them. Start turning with the Carthaginian, and I'm going to leave this. And I'm taking a chance here. Yeah, I believe they're just marching in a straight line. A real Roman army would not have done that. Not without engaging yet. This is crazy. Just following a script, I guess. If they clump up, they're going to chain route. So that's the object of this game, is to cause them to chain route. the harassment. Start moving. Start moving backwards. I'm going to move this slinger over here. And start turning with the cavalry. Keep on harassing him. Let's 
bring the legions forward. So many legionnaires, it's incredible. That's what I'm going to continue doing. And you'll force them to turn. We're just doing circles around them. That way I'm forcing them to turn. on the flank like that. Now there's going to be some trouble. going to be in some serious trouble. I start bringing up these guys. Get ready for the infantry battle. I think the Roman cavalry is defeated. I think my Numidians have done a good job. Let's bring these guys over here. Let's just bring them, bring them behind and then reposition them to wherever we need them. The Viro is almost ready to go. Let's see how this plays out. Distractions here. Legions are marching forward. But now there's a rough terrain that they're going to encounter. are going to turn, but it's going to be too late to save the cavalry.
one route. I'm going to keep on harassing with the Numidians. Like I said, I'm going to keep on moving my light units to completely destroy the cavalry. Even though they're going to suffer. I'm going to move these over here to assist. Shots at these guys. Hang up on them. Now I got a straight line of Kane. Now what do I do over here? This is where it gets interesting. not going to be able to evade. Oh, he did evade. We okay, got a break here. This should be a rear charge. There we go. extra move here. Okay, I got the, the Roman cavalry is he's not in good shape. move over here so I want to get around I want to take some cavalry units and get around and distract some more people and uh, let's see how this works out Walking right into a flank charge. That's not good.
Oh, they got lucky there. Ooh. They got lucky there. Shucks. I'm gonna go up here with the Numidians. Now that is not good. This Roman Legion. Let's do some harassing. Oh gosh, what did I do here? Disrupted myself. Let's move some guys up here. Okay, the infantry is ready. Make sure they don't rally. Here comes a true test.
Well, I didn't want to get into an engagement with the cavalry. Keep on hitting that one. Let's hit that cavalry. Good auto break. Good, good, good. Excellent. The Roman cavalry is just about completely destroyed. And now. See what I can do with the cavalry. Gonna keep on harassing. Start moving forward with the Africans. Let's move up here. One. not concerned about this cavalry because I can use the Numidians to take care of them. get past that rough ground. Let's see what to do about this cavalry. chase all these units. Turn around and hit that cavalry. Let's keep them there. I'm not sure what to do yet. I'm just going along with whatever happens strategically. Oh, this armored cavalry is gone. I just want to squeeze them in there if I can. Okay, this is a distraction. If 
I could cause some chain routes, that would be really good. My new minions in the Maher Bow. I missed there. Hit him with the slingers. This one down here. I'm going to go after this cavalry. It's going to be worth more. This is open ground. Let's go over here. Legionnaires. Let's go down here. Hit that unit. The whole goal is to isolate these units and nail them. Two units here chasing and kind of keeping them occupied behind here. I got three units ready to nail. Okay, we got a little clump here. Okay, I got a disruption. See, I don't want to do that exactly. I don't know if I did this right, but I 
I'm going to wait a turn. Keep on routing, Barrow. Oh, no, I didn't want him to rally. I guess I'm going to have to go after him. Oh, God damn it, I fell for this flank attack here. No! See, that's the problem. I got out of line. Yeah, I got out of line. Now Hannibal's gonna run. Oh, my grizzly men are losing. Smell this cavalry. Bring the Numidians up here. Problem is, these infantry do not do, uh, spearmen are not that good. If I could just get one to break here. But they're not, they're fighting really well. to get my John Grizzlies to fight. They broke a Roman unit. Good attacking odds. I'm going to move the javelin men out. Fragmented one unit.
keep the flank attack. Let's just bring some units over here. Oh, poor Hannibal. Okay, I think I've done everything I can. <laughs> okay, one's dispersed at least. Hannibal's going to run. I wish he'd rally. That would be nice. Problem is not ah. Uh, see, the problem is I'm breaking and I'm getting the bad die rolls. That is the problem here. If I get bad die rolls, I lose the battle. Okay. And it doesn't help if they all hold firm. They're just so good. I mean, these guys are just too good. They're holding firm. They're doing really well here. This is a tough... At this level, this is really, really tough. See if I can hit them. See, the problem is with the spearmen, they have a terrible attack. I can break this one. I can't even do a rear charge on this guy. This is ridiculous.
this guy's gone. Ah, they're holding firm like crazy. Uh, what do I do over here? Problem is this. Trying to utilize my cavalry, of course, this guy rallied. Main thing is right over here. Ah, the, and I'm going to break over here because I had a bad die roll. Okay. Old John Grizzly. I wish Hannibal would just rally, my gosh. Every other regular unit in these games, this uh, opponent, they just rally all the time. My commander-in-chief cannot rally. Second charge of arrow. Oh, fine, good. I'm glad he rallied. My God. Yeah, he'll just hold firm. Beat him. Just hold firming. Or firm holding. Ah, for God's sakes. At better odds in the course. Fight. Let's pelt this guy. There, finally. Finally, somebody broke. Now, there needs to be a breakage. This guy needs to break. Auto break, good. Now we got somebody breaking over here. There's no good impact here. 
but I believe I can break this guy. There we go. That's another. That helps. And Okay, so now I got around the Numidian cavalry. Now we can go back up here and harass some of these units. And I got Numidian cavalry ready to come this way. And the only thing that's going to be. Okay, these guys are exposed here. Okay, these slingers got caught. Yeah, I don't like my cavalry getting caught in scuffles here. Let's move these guys up. I got a flank charge here. This guy. Not going too bad. I mean, it could be a lot worse. This is the only concern here, but if I can break a couple more units. See, I don't want the impact because the impact is going to kill me. I'd rather get a rear charge over here. But what to do? Keep them distracted. I'd like to just slip behind with the cavalry here if I can, if they let me. Because I am getting a little bit of a Kessel. And I'm going to be coming around here, so. As long as John Grizzly doesn't break in the middle. They can retreat if they want. I 
thought, but... Got another break. Old Grizzly. Oh, we got a little break here. Okay, just, uh, the middle here is crappily a little bit, but uh, the Roman cavalry has been completely destroyed with very few casualties to my light units. So I'm going to continue on the process here. Let's continue pelting this guy. I'm just going to keep on messing this guy. Even though there may be a flank charge here, it doesn't really matter because I'll be getting behind him. And I'm going to move my slingers away. And I want to cause a break here. That's what I wanted. I didn't want anybody to hold firm. I can now break this guy, that would be great. I have a tremendous advantage with the spearmen here. Fighting defensively. Got a disruption. And now there's a flank charge here. And another break. And I'm going to have to turn again to help. Uh, John Grizzly here. Okay, we're 30%, so I mean, this... This isn't so bad. That was a good idea. <laughs> that may not have been a good idea. I thought I could get him. Okay. Let's turn around and could route this guy. Thirty-three percent. like to get my cavalry right through here. Grass as many as possible. Just a couple more units and that will be the end. 
this one goes. I'm just curious here. Just turn. Let's keep on distracting. This is even. Only thing is, I got to. I'm gonna bring this guy down over here to protect the flank attack. Okay. Bring the cavalry over here so he can come down and get this guy. I just have to break a few more units and I'm there. Let's see, did I forget anybody? No. Okay. Go off the board. Oh, I didn't. That was the worst unit that could rally. I was really counting on beating that unit. Fall back. He's just walking up to so he can get routed. That's pretty good. Disrupted. That's good. Break him. I think now him in the rear here and uh, we got a break here at 36 percent snail this guy 39 On hitting them. It's the only thing I got the cavalry surrounded, and now
bring the cavalry behind here. here and hit this one and let's see how the cavalry is doing over here have any generals left. I think I got them all. Let's get the rest of them engaged. Let's get the Numidian cavalry involved. Okay, and can we bring him up? Sure. I just don't fall because we get a rear charge over here. And I'm doing okay with the cavalry. We're almost a 40%. I mean, this is a win. Chase the last leader off. Ah, of course! He's going to break. I knew it just the last minute he's going to break. Oh, I didn't want that. That's miserable. One break. Uh. Okay, so it's a victory. The enemies. I can continue on, but I mean, the point is, is to win here. It wasn't too difficult to win. You just pretty much had to do what Hannibal did. Okay, lost 34,000, lost 15%, 45%, so uh, that's, that's how I played a battle at Kenhe here. That's the key is to use the terrain advantages here, and wow, the Romans, the Romans had just so many more troops, but they were just coming forward, and it's really, I'm going to show how to play the Roman side from this. Because, like I said, I disagreed with how, you know, the history says the battle happened. 
because if it if it did happen the way it did historically, I'm going to do exactly what the Romans would have done, and, uh, and then I'm also going to do on my other channel a, a little documentary on how I think the battle actually occurred, and they'll be soon in the future. All right, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this.